What's up guys, Jeremy and Jamira here from RC Militia and we have the Sakura D4 rear wheel drive kit with us today and I'm just going to kind of give you uh, my opinions about the build and how it went. I'm not a person that is going to do a thousand part build video on one car and bore you to death with 16 videos of the exact same car. So with that said, I'm just going to give you the overview of it. Um, to start off, it comes with so many aluminum upgrades, it's ridiculous. Why would I don't know if you'd call them upgrades because they come with it, but I would consider them upgrades. It's aluminum, it's better than plastic, so I consider it an upgrade. So therefore, yes, it comes with a bunch of aluminum on it. I mean, just in the smallest spots, just, I mean, when it comes down to, you know, putting a little piece of aluminum around uh, the screw, uh, just the, the little details they put into this, where they put the aluminum, where they placed it, just matches perfectly. Even the servo actually matches the aluminum on the car, which is really cool. Uh, I can say this is, I think, the very first kit that I have ever built. I don't know if I said this about the Pro Line, because I'm not sure if I did or not, but not one solitary screw was stripped. I was missing one screw, though. That was the only setback, but no screw was stripped. The plastics on this thing are absolutely amazing. Uh, it is, of course, uh, belt-driven. You'll see in, in close-ups uh, later on in the video, or maybe you've already seen it by now. Um, and it, the chassis is is super, super rigid. It, it looks... I don't know if it's Delrin, carbon fiber, or what it is. It's definitely not carbon fiber, but it looks like it could be Delrin or s something. I am, I am not sure, but it is extremely rigid. Are you going to chime in here with anything to say? <laughs> Think of it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's extremely rigid. Jamara will get to the body part. So she's I, she's, she's going gonna to sit here and watch for now. Yeah, is that pretty much your game? Yep. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> we just got the eight or two, guys. But anyway, I mean, the, the shocks were super, super easy to build. Um, the battery tray is actually really, really cool. Uh, the top chassis brace, I mean, honestly... You could go without the top chassis brace if you wanted to for some reason because this bottom, the bottom of this chassis, I cannot stress enough how rigid and stiff this thing is. It's absolutely crazy. And the steering that you get out of this thing, I don't know if you can see this here, but I mean, it's pretty much completely. Mm -hmm. I, wish, I wish my truck could do that. I know, right? That'd be amazing. Also comes with a uh part of the steering rack is aluminum um i'm literally just in here learning with you guys because yep. <laughs> i didn't i didn't touch this at all part of the steering rack is aluminum uh let's see what else do we need to go over okay of course it's gonna be powered by a max amps battery and this thing actually looks really cool with the paint scheme we have on the car which yeah. we'll get to in just a second here and i will say for value for you know what you what you pay is you're getting a whole lot of value for what you pay out of this thing i think I think they are only 160 bucks on uh, RC Mart's website. I will put a link in the description below to this kit where you can buy it. Um, but the price point on this thing, I don't think you could beat it in any way, shape, or form. I mean, 160 bucks for this type of kit that comes with all this aluminum. I mean, it. As far as kits go that I've built, that comes with more aluminum on it than any kit that I've ever built. Um, Did this go together relatively easy? <clears throat> it went together super, super easy. I had, besides losing one screw, it was literally like zero hiccups at all. Okay, did you lose it or did they not give it to you? It wasn't included. It, okay. Yeah, but that, that, I swear to That's God, that happens on us. every kit to me, yeah. so I'm just prepared to go to the hobby shop and, and, and buy one. I don't, I don't know if I said hobby shop right there. I think I just totally slurred my speech. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, the car just seems super, super solid. Uh, yeah. Tons of steering. Uh, the servo seems like it's going to be really good. Uh, aluminum motor mount. Um, don't have the motor in there yet, of course, but we will be making another video about that. So I guess that's about all I have to say about it. The kit went together smoothly. I would fully recommend it. for anybody that knows Jeremy and Kit, smoothly is like A++. Yeah, I don't, I, I didn't, there, there was not a lot of swearing involved in no. this kit. Actually, there was, there was none. No, no, he just sat over there nice and quiet building his kit. Yep, and I took my time with it because I actually really I really thoroughly enjoyed building this kit. I really, really did. And I was so surprised at what you get, like I said, for the price point that yeah. you pay. It's, it's, it's crazy. I mean, if you're going to get into drifting, I say look no further than yep. the Sakura D4 
start here. Rear wheel drive or the all wheel drive, whichever you prefer. I want the rear wheel drive because I want something a little bit more challenging and uh, You want something challenging for I, something that you've never done before. Exactly. I want it to be I want it to be more challenging. That's so such then a if I thing. So then if I get an all wheel drive car, then I'll be able to drive the living hell out of it. Okay, so like that's what you were talking about in 14 takes earlier when you were talking right. about <laughs> starting off with a manual and then you go to an automatic and it's a lot easier. Okay. Exactly, yeah. So All the other takes are making sense now. They are. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, with that, uh, let's just go ahead and dive into the body. Okay, so my part um, is not all this. My part is the artistic side, which is um, the body. So this is I'm a... I'm not artistic. <laughs> You're not artistic. <laughs> He's got the ideas, he just can't do anything with it. No. So since the Sakura D4 does not come with a body, RC Mart was kind enough to send us, um, well send me, uh, the Mazda, the Protoform Mazda RX-7 body, which works perfect. Am I boring you? Like, no, you you're good, you're good. Phone? I had to check my phone. <laughs> Um, and so it worked perfect for the design that I was going with, which was an Imperial slash Mandalorian mesh. Um, Jeremy is a huge Star Wars fan, and so am I. Um, but that's my favorite character, of course. Yes. So just the dark people, the bad side people. So we wanted to make Boba the Fett. bad side people? The bad side people? The dark side people. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to be like jumped in the dark park and yeah. by Star Wars. <laughs> the dark side, I'm sorry. Um, so, he wanted Boba Fett front and center, so we put him on the hood. He, just badass. Just yeah. amazing. He yeah. came out phenomenally. And that really was the first time that I had used um, puffy paint with color, not just black and not just black like I did on the Batman body. So this was the first time I got to blend colors together with an RC body using my new technique with puffy paint. And once that came out, I knew I was golden to do any other image that I wanted to do. As soon as like the idea in my head worked in reality land, I knew I could do anything. So from um, Boa Fett, we went on to um, load up the sides. Um, well, this is my favorite side. So I've got the Emperor, and then I also hit up, which is my favorite, which is Darth Maul. I think he just came out amazing. Yeah, he did. It, just, it, it, it he, looks like a picture. It does. And not to toot my own horn, but that's really, really cool. And um, I am tooting my own horn. It came out really cool, and I don't know how to say it without saying it came out really cool. Hey, like, I shocked myself when I there's put the body around. Being, there's nothing wrong with being proud of yourself. So, um, we also got some um, Jabba the Hutt on there. You gotta get him. Um, let's see. Of course, Boba Fett works for Jabba the Hutt. Right? <laughs> so, for the front, I had to go with the Adat winner's, you know, fight scene. Empire Strikes Back's fight, fight scene, yeah. 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 With the Adat? With the Adat. Okay, yes. thank you. Okay. All right, so that just covers the entire front, and uh, it just it, it fills the space amazingly. Don't forget about my two favorite things that come out really, really cool. This is what Jeremy wanted. He wanted a little... I'm going to run this up there because we didn't get a shot of these. So. Okay. Uh, the Mandalorian symbols. I mean, the Mandalorians, they're just so cool to me. Uh, yes, you guys all know that I am now officially 100% a Star Wars nerd. Well, more more a, nerd, a nerd in most respects, actually, so go ahead. So we got the Mandalorian signs. We got Boba Fett. At it, fight scene, you got the Emperor, we have Darth Maul, Jabba the Hutt. On the back, I mean, come on. They're flying around in space, it's Star Wars, so we have to have a TIE fighter. And that went back right on the back of... Uh, brain fart. Back of the car. Trunk. <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Trunk, you know, and then we, of course, had to have Star Wars on the back. One thing I'll, I will say, I'll admit to it, that I have not... <laughs> We found the extra piece later, but I have not finished the bottom, bottom part yet. That is just going to be stars and then have a license plate. So, so sorry about that, guys. This is not 100% completed yet. We, of course, not we, you have nothing to do with it. I, have, I of course, <laughs> threw on um, Imperial Guard and then Darth Vader, guys, really. It's not Gotta complete without Darth Vader. And then a Stormtrooper. And, um... Stormtrooper, I got a comment, though. It's not my favorite. I, no, the Stormtrooper's not our favorite, but we could, we tried to find images. I even looked at... And, yeah. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. There's something about the way... He just looks The head odd. is shaped and the way the eyes are shaped that are really, really weird. Uh, it reminds yeah. me of something. I can't remember what it is, but... 
Anyway, it's go ahead. Little, it was a little tough when I had an image around, like, uh, by the tires, but Jeremy's talking about something completely different. Um, but, yeah, Stormtrooper's not my favorite, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, overall, of course, Imperial, symbol on top. But, overall, this is, hands down, my favorite body I've ever painted. Yeah. And it just, it came together better than I could imagine. And every single thing you see on it is all puffy paint. There's no, you took an image off the computer and then somehow I glued it onto the body or anything like that. It's none of that. Everything on there is 100% puffy paint. And if you guys don't know what puffy paint is and you're just completely lost with this, I do have a tutorial. There's a little section on, if you go to the main channel, there's a little section of the playlist called, um, it's called Jamera's Custom Paint Jobs. Yeah. And, um... There's the imperial symbol. Now I know how you feel. I know, right? Oh, <laughs> I'm sitting here. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. So anyway. Yeah, now he's lost for once. <laughs> so you guys can go check out the playlist, Jumeirah's Custom Paint Jobs. It's on there. Um, I just started being able to get back into painting. Life was really chaotic for a couple months. Still is. <sighs> but I have freed up some time where I can start getting back into painting and making the videos so I can show you guys exactly how it is that I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm not, I don't want to keep any secrets from you guys. I want you guys to be better than I am. I want to share all the information I have so that you guys can make yourself an awesome Star Wars body if you wanted to. Uh, so slowly, question tutorial you, by though. tutorial, I'll show you guys how I'm doing everything I'm doing. Yes. Okay, so question. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to speak for Jamara on this one because I know she's going to underestimate it. I'm going to say there was at least 16 to 20 hours put into that car body yeah. easily. 16 to 20 hours. Yeah. It was, it, yeah. she was Kinda so. Kind of a lot of it was like this. Yeah, she was so <laughs> diligent about it. It was absolutely. This is what it looks like on the bottom, guys. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you want to give them a little. I can show quick it, run, But, but it, it, this is what we're saying. So this is what you see on the bottom. So it just looks like it's a bunch of. Just a blob. And then you get that result. But yeah. Um, so, so I know that this, that's really new, it's a new technique, and I haven't really gotten the chance to show uh, enough of it for you guys, uh, to you guys, and so still trying to find a way in order to be able to paint freely without being all like cockeyed so that the camera is not blocked. Um, I'm working out that, but I will, whatever you guys want to know, I will share as much as I can, any knowledge I have as far as these techniques, because I'm not trying to, I, I want everyone to be able to paint this way if they want to. Yep, and I will always share with you guys my feelings on a build and kit review, because that's what I do. I have no artistic ability at all. Because we share. We share. <laughs> <laughs> we sound so stupid, I will share. What are we, politicians? I promise change. <laughs> I promise hope. <laughs> all right, babe, so final thoughts. Uh, love in the body. Um, since everything on here is puffy paint, it does make the body um, a tad bit heavier. You not, know, you, not by much. Not by much. You, you know, you're throwing on paint, so you threw something onto something, so technically it's going to get heavier. Um, but really not that much. And since everything is paint, for it not to weigh that much more, that's really, really good. On top of it, if you guys don't know what puffy paint is, and you're worried, oh, does it crack and this and that, this is... Or will it peel off? Will no. it peel off? This is puffy paint. Puffy paint dries as a flexible plastic. Okay? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, basically. It's flexible. almost, it's almost like plastic. You can't scratch it. You hear that? Well, you are scratching it. I'm scratching it. Okay, I'm scratching it, but I'm not <laughs> doing any damage. Okay, I'm not going to hurt it. And yeah. then it's and then spendable. So that's why it is perfect, absolutely perfect for RC cars. I am so stoked beyond beyond anything I could ever express how awesome that that medium works on RC cars. So like I said, more videos will be coming out and I'll show you guys, you know, little tips here and there and then sometimes you guys will just see me paint, I won't say a word and if you guys have any questions then you guys can throw them down below. But that's going to be a new kind of series I'm doing on the side um, just so that I can give you guys as much information about this technique because I want this to just spread like wildfire. Yep. And on my end, there will be uh, an electronics uh, video about this, uh, about all the electronics that I put in here and how they went in, if they went in good, all that. I don't see anything going wrong with this because nothing has went wrong with this kit so far at all. I'm super, super, super impressed. Um, I would definitely recommend it just based on how it went together. I haven't driven it, 
but and just the lack of cursing it took to put it together. Yeah, I mean, just based on that, I would I would fully recommend anybody buying it. And if you do want to buy it, I don't know if I mentioned it, there'll be a link in the description below. Click on that link; it'll take you right to. Uh, RC Mart's webpage where you can go ahead and get it. Uh, you can choose, you don't have to get the rear wheel drive, you can get the all wheel drive if you want to. Uh, I did get a gyro with this one, uh, so that will help out quite a bit to help stabilize me and stuff like that since I'm literally going, it's going to be like a, a handing a two year old a, a remote for a car for me. It will not be fun videotaping <clears throat> him to say the least. Uh, no, it, but it'll be fun watching. It'll be fun watching me make myself look like a, a donkey. Okay. For for lack of uh, other words. <laughs> um, nice. So with that said, guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching, and we will see you on the next one. See you later. Later. It's really cool. Bye. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we shouldn't do this after dinner. Okay, we're now just literally wasting time <laughs> staring at each other. <laughs> Gotta interrupt you real quick. Okay. Why did I interrupt you? <laughs> and I'm hunched over like you. No wonder your back hurts, dude. Sit straight. What's Ooh. up, guys? Jerry and Jamara here. Jamara! <laughs> Crap! Uh, how the hell are we gonna do this it's whole It's not me. I have said my name right every time. Kind of wish I maybe would have gone with the all-wheel drive. But I think that's kind of cheating. I think I kind of want to learn the hard way, kind of like, you know, driving a stick and then, and then drive a manual. Going to an automatic? Going to a, yeah, they're going. Driving a stick and then stick. going to a manual? And apparently Jamar's a companion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up, guys? Jeremy and Jamara. Here with the uh, Shakira D. <laughs> the Shakira? <laughs> I know what's on your mind. <laughs> okay. God, we're gonna have a lot of bloopers. Ugh.